Welcome to Oracle FX tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use reasons and items. Let's see first what is reasons and items and how they look like. We are watching some white areas. Find master table, find detail table, proof have subprocess, proof have subprocess details. These four are reasons. And what are the items? Under find master table reasons, you are watching a text box to buttons and four radio buttons. These are called items in Oracle Apex. There are a lot of other items in Oracle Apex like a dead time picker, checkbox control. So reasons are like container of items. Now I'm going to create some reasons and items in a blank page to demonstrate you how to use reasons and item in your project. Before going to the next part of this video, I would like to request you to view my previous videos in this series. It will be very helpful for new viewers to understand this video. Log into Workspace and go to App Builder. Under App Builder, I have already created an application called EA. Click to enter into editing mode. Create a new blank page. Go to next. You must give a page name. For this application, it is Reasons and Item Training. Go to Next. Select Create a new navigation menu entry. Select Next. Then Finish. New blank page has been created and its ID is 5. Go to left side of the screen and select Rendering tab. Right click on the reason and select create reason. We need to create four reasons. Rename those reasons as R1. R2, R3, and R4. Now you are watching for reasons under layout. All of them are stacked one under another but we like to press them as like as this picture. As per our design, R2 should be right side of R1. To do it, select R2 region and go to properties. Under properties, scroll down to layout. Under Start New Row, select No. Now you are watching R1 and R2 reasons are standing side by side. We can do same for R3 reason. Now all four reasons are arranged perfectly as like as our page design. Now I'm going to save and run this application. Now you can see our four reasons are arranged in the screen by two columns and two rows. Oracle FX actually divides uh, a screen in 12 columns so that a developer can arrange their reasons in perfect way. That means you can uh, adjust width of a reason by adjusting column and column span properties. Let's see how to do it. Go to development mode, select reason R1 in layout property, select column automatic to 1 and column span set it to 3. Then select R3, change layout property of column is 1 and column span property to 3. 
save and run the application again refresh it now you can see with our region r1 and r3 decreased now i'll show you how to create items and how to arrange them in a region go to page designer again select region 1 right click on it click create page item create another page item create a button select region 2 create a page item create another page item save and run the application refresh the page now we can see in region 1 two text box and one button if you click on the button you can see page get refreshed because default event of a button is page submit so if you click on a button it submit the page go to page designer mode again now we will work with item type the first item is text and if you want we can change the item type select the second item change the name suppose name is p5 radio you can give any name but Oracle suggests you should name it as two part first part is page number and second part is uh, name of the item and no space is allowed select radio from type you can see it is showing red because you have to set some mandatory properties for radio group scroll down to properties and under list of values you have to select type type can be shared component sql query static value plsql i'll set static value here click on button beside the static values change display 1 to option 1 and display 2 to option 2 return value of option 1 is 1 and return value of option 2 is 2 so you can short here I'm not shorting you can remove the item you can arrange it with this arrow button create another display value you can delete display value rearrange it okay display extra value is no display null value just to no now i will send uh, new to under reason 2 i will make it as date picker change the name dead picker change the new 3 button to hidden 
that's when this uh, will not visible in the run time set the page and run the application again now we can see the radio buttons under r1 and the text box you can type anything in the text box now we are going to change level and scroll down to appearance under template it is set optional floating change it to optional for r2 region change the level properties of data item change it to required above change new button level to save Save the project and run the application again. Now level name has appeared left side of the text box and the date picker level is displaying above the date picker and register mean this field is mandatory. It is a level only to make it really mandatory you have to work with validation. I think you have understand how to work with reasons and various items like text box, radio, dead picker, common buttons. That's all for today. If you have any question please comment below and don't forget to subscribe my channel.